All right, let's do one more then. Arms out to the side. We're going to circle the arms backwards. Get the blood flow. Slowly get bigger and bigger. Four circles. So we get smaller. Smaller. Okay, now arms, arms forward. If you were going forward, go backwards. Switch it up. Slowly get bigger. Into full circles. Really pull down and back with the shoulder blades. Down and back. Feel blood going to the arms. Shoulders getting tired. Okay, make them smaller again. Smaller. Okay, good, relax your arms. We're going to go swing arms, forwards and back, forwards and back. So the shoulder blades down and back. Turn your hands out, so you're stretching your chest. We're going to And we go up and down. Up and down. When you bring them up, try and keep the ribs in. Think about ribs in. Sure. All right, let's do the head. Head up. Look up, look down. Up, down, down. To the side, to the side. Side, side, and then ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder. Then we're going to do half circles. Uh, sorry, down, down, half circle the head. Okay, good. Shoulders a little shake. All right, now we're going to do the wrist. So we're going to circle the wrist, then we're going to circle the arms. And we're going to go back the other way. Here, we're going to go walk out. We're going to do five push ups, walk back, walk out, 10 shoulder taps, walk back, walk out, 10 shrugs, walk back. Okay, and then we're going to do the last one 10 uh, bird dog or alternating superman on the knees. All right, so just follow with. So stretch out the hamstrings. Oh, I'm tight today from yesterday. Walk out, nice position, nice now, slow, five push ups. One, two, three, four, squeeze the back, five, good. Push through the shoulders, walk back, stand up. Okay, this time my shoulder taps. Stretch the hamstrings, look forward. All right, shoulder taps. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Walk back. Good. Stretch the hamstrings. And again, walk out. This time, shrugs. Nice and slow. All the way down and up. One, down, two. Feel the shoulders coming. Three, relax the neck. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, walk back. All right, last one, we're gonna do bird dog. So we're gonna walk out on your hands and knees. We're gonna alternate, lift, one, lift, two, lift, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good, from here, push back into a downward dog. Sideways. Push back, right, stretch out the hamstrings, open up the shoulders, try and get your armpits towards your toes, breathe. Stretch, stretch, and then we're gonna drop it down, hips back, 
Uh, so shoulders back, sorry, hips down. You can look up, look back, stretch. Okay, from here, we're gonna lay down on our bellies. Try and get space. All right, so laying down on your belly. You can see me, yeah? Yes. Sorry, somebody's calling me. My bad. Are you still on Zoom? Where are you going now? You still see me? Oh, there you are. It's weird, my whole screen changed. I'm letting Katarina. Uh. All right, lay down on your belly. We're going to go Y, T, I. And then we're going to do that 10 times. And after we're going to squeeze. So we're going to bring our hips off the floor. We're going to engage that core. Press our shoulders down, just like in that handsome position. Okay, we'll hold for 10 seconds. We will repeat it twice. So YTI 10 times, and then hold for 10 seconds. YTI, hold for 10 seconds. Make sure you're pushing through the shoulders, armpits towards the floor, and lift them hips off. The lower back is flat. Ready? Let's go. YTI. I one Y T I two Y T I three Y T I four Y T I five Y T I six Y T I seven Y T I eight Y T I nine one Y T I ten. Ready? Squeeze and hold. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax. One more time. Let's go. Y T I one. Y T I two. Y I three, Y T I four, Y T I five, Y T I six, Y T I seven, Y T I eight, Y T I nine, Y T I ten, and hold. Hold. Three, two, one, relax. All right, on your back. We're gonna do the same in the dish. We're gonna lift up the dish here and down and down. And then we're gonna do the handstand flex on your back. So low, lower back is pressed down, hold for 10. Repeat it twice, okay? Charlie, if you come this way, be fine. If you feed them down, like come closer to me, you're perfectly in school. Okay. Oh, I look no. dark. Yeah, if you turn this way. Okay. No, it's fine. Are you ready? 10 lifts, ready? Let's go. One, two, three, yeah, but, four, thank you. five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Try to lift your shoulders off the mat. Ten. And hold. Press down, lower back, squeeze. Three, two, one, relax. Ready? Round two. Lift one, two, three. Four, five, nice. six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready, hold, press, breathe, breathe, three, two, one, relax. Okay. 
And it was really easy to hold our breath in that position. I was doing it. But tell yourself, remind yourself to breathe. You have to learn to breathe upside down twice. I'm going to hold it very long. All right, let's just do a little bit of Chapana stretching. And I'm going to pass you over to Katarina. She'll stretch you a little bit more. And then, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So let's just do like the normal one. Stretch out the sides. Get tight like I am. Yes, they were sore. Good, other side. Feel the stretch. Loosen up a little bit my hips and hamstrings. One more time. Feel that stretch on the side. Feel it. Reach out. Good. Have a start. Feel the stretch. Good in the middle. Good. Let's bring our legs together. Let's do a nice little pipe fold. We're just going to go down. We're going to grab our feet and just relax. Nice, Martin. Good job. Good prep. Good practice, Martin. Make me look bad. <laughs> Good. From this position, I want you to sit up straight. We're going to roll back. We're going to go over our head. And we're going to come forward, reach up, and go forward. Awesome. Gymnastics. So use that momentum a little bit, but keep as you come forward. Reach up. So ready, roll back. Straight position. And then roll up and forward. Good. Try to keep your hand hands in roll line time. with your ears. Yeah, roll yeah. Yeah. And four. Nice. Good job. Okay, good. One leg bent. Let's just grab that foot. Stretch out the glute. Do it other side. Oh, dear. And then quads. I feel like I should stretch the legs because yesterday was on my fault. Just quads. So today, Kat has decided to take you away from the wall. <laughs> Obviously, Martin, if you don't have a lot of space, or Alison, stay close to the wall. But uh, you're going to do some different stuff. Maybe using a chair or a settee. You can see a sofa in the background there as well. So, All right, guys. I'm passing you over to the experts with the handstands. Oh, stop it. <laughs> All right, guys. What are we feeling like to start with? Please, like, be honest and tell me, talk to me. What this feels better to start with before we go? Of course, we're going to do handstands in the end and we're going to try without wall today, but of course with the support. But tell me what you feel like it to start with. We have still firefly, we still have crow, head stands, shoulder stands, which is on elbows. Uh, sorry, not shoulder stands, elbow stands, shoulder stands is a, uh, from the plow or shoulder stand. So what do you feel like to start with today? Like it's your, your time really like, just talk to me. So let's do crow. Let's do uh, crow? Yeah. Okay, start with crow while you're fresh, yeah? While you have <laughs> energy. Okay, yeah. yeah, let's do crow then. And then we will see what's next. Okay, same old, same old. Let's warm up with our malasana first. Find your malasana. Open your hips, plant your feet on the ground, push your knees out. Try to get your spine nice and straight. Try to almost have your shoulders on top of your hips. Always think like you're between two glass walls. No forward, the back, nothing sticking out. Perfectly straight. Sink down, but still grow tall. Crown of the head always reaching up. So sink your hips, maybe add a little sway right and left. And when we're ready, let's plant our hands on the floor. 
shoulder width apart. Remember all the details, toes together to touch and work your knees higher than your elbows. Bend your elbows slightly. Preferably try to make your knees towards your armpit. Shift your weight forward. Lift your gaze a little higher. Lower your buttons down, but lift your toes up. Get your shins parallel to the floor. And hold. Good, good. Relax it down. Find your malasana. Take a breath. Very good, guys. Yeah, first set, second set, you're gonna do the same. Then we're gonna rest a bit and then we're gonna do crow to chaturanga. Shut, shoot back. <laughs> I can talk lately, I don't know why. <laughs> so sink your hips once again. This time, second time, try to make your crow as compact as possible. So have your butt, butt down and heels up. Try to make yourself smaller. So one more breath here. And let's go for a second set. Blend the hands, toes together, knees high. Shift your weight slowly forward. Find the balance, maybe one foot at a time. And make yourself compact, small, as small as possible. And hold. Good, good. Hold, hold, hold. Alison, come out, take a break. Martin, hold. Good, come out. All right, good. Release, just relax your legs a little bit. All right, guys, that's pretty good. Once again, always think of make yourself smaller. Alison, you're almost there. Martin, you're almost there as well. Now you guys, like your butts are sticking up way too high still. So maybe try to bend your elbows a little bit more and lower your hips down. But keep this form, keep that shins high. Does that make sense? Like you want to be closer to the ground, but at the same time you want to be lifted. So it's just this like a kind of a compress yourself in a small, small ball. So now we're going to go for crow and shooting back to Chaturanga. And we're going to do that, not just pulling out, just take a break, take a look at me. So when we're here, instead of doing that, we're going to really be in control. We're going to squeeze our core. We're going to keep our head high. And we're going to shoot back and lower down to Chaturanga and lift up to upward dog. Yeah? Let's do that. Take your time. It's no rush. Really take your step by step, feel your body nice and gentle. Everything is just need to come together as one. Beautiful, one foot at a time, nice. Hold two breaths and when you're ready, shoot back. Nice, Alison, good job. Take a break. Martin, take your time. Hold. It's okay, one leg at a time is absolutely fine. That's actually a really good approach. You did right. It's better yeah. to kick one leg and be, you know, more proper and straight than like shoot two legs back and fell in the belly. That was good. You did the right thing. Your body did the right thing. So that's absolutely fine. You can keep practicing like that and eventually you'll kick two legs. But you know what I want from you? You're now rushing. Sorry, Alison, good job. You did good. You're working in the right direction. Martin, I feel like you're rushing getting in the crow. I want you to really be more confident, not like, oh, God, say, let's go. So take your time, relax and really feel, if you need to stay here and finding it, then only slowly try to lift the second leg up. Don't try to like jump in it. The more you're jumping in it, the less control you have. Make sense? Big toes yeah. to touch, you catch that position, take a second and go. Let's do one more. Both of you, good. Really take your time, feel your crow, be confident in it. You are in control. Bend your elbows as much as you need to work that knees higher. Nice. 
Bence yalbas mahsuma. Good, good, all. Nice, Alison, good job. Good, Martin. Try not to lower your chest now. Alison, good job. You, you got it. Martin, you're rushing. I know maybe I'm pressuring you. So now, like, we, we, your, your mind is already set to shoot back. You're skipping the crow. You're a little bit too low, and your, your butt is too high. I want you to really press the chest forward. See, like, from this and to this is a difference. Make sense? So you're a little bit really pushing like you're pushing in a handsome crow is a bit different. You really need to push your chest forward and lower your butt down and lift your shins high. Does that make sense? That's how you make yourself more compact. Okay. So yeah, that's just a practice. Alison, just take a look. Martin, can you do it for, for us? It's, it's good to watch too. Take your time, no rush. Bend your elbows generously. Shift your weight forward slowly. One foot at a time, point that toe. Big toes to touch. Chest lifted more, butt down. Yes, more, 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 more. Press your chest forward. Yeah, right here, Martin. Good, good. I know it's hard, hold. Push back. Beautiful, that was so much better. Your form is so much better. Good job, that's it, you adjusted. I know it was harder to hold, but you press the chest a little bit. Alison, did you see how from high position he kind of went not as much, but still he come back. Your chest was higher, your butt got lower, and you keep your shins up. So good. That's good. Let's leave it like that. Oh. What's next? Should we go? Say it again. It's easier to hold this way. Yeah, really? That's good. That's why. Why didn't you escaping this position then? <laughs> if it's easy to hold, then find that. Find that comfort then. If it's easier, then good. Because normally I thought that it's harder for you. That's why you're staying so high. But okay, if you feel that it's good, awesome. That's great. So should we go to a headstand and then we add crow to a handstand or should be how you guys feel? Let's do at least one headstand to kind of get in our body. We're not gonna do too many headstands so we're not compress our neck too much today. So how we start headstands, as always, when you head in front, make sure you can see your hands Get your butt up. If you're already comfortable with lift one leg at a time straight, that's good. If you still want to bend, that's okay too. But try to get one leg straight, second leg straight. And always what we're remembering, heels on top of the knees, knees on top of the hips, hips on top of the shoulders. Squeeze your elbows towards each other. Don't let it fold open. You have three points to balance on and then slowly come out. Yes? Good. Let's do one headstand and then we move from crow to headstands. Straight legs, strong legs. In control, use your core. Grow tall, lift up. You in control of your legs. Squeeze your legs together, Martin, lift up. Okay, good. Get a straight leg up, you got it. Alison, good. One more breath and you can come out. Yeah, that's good. Take a break. Martin, straight leg. Give me a straight leg. I think you got it. One straight leg. Nice. And then second straight leg. Squeeze your legs together. Lift up. Slowly come down. Slowly come down, Martin. Okay, good. Yeah, you're still hesitating. You're still feeling like sort of uncomfortable upside down. The position is your hips is in a fine direction, but for some reason, your legs, it's like over there and I don't want them there. So when you're lifting up, try to lift kind of in front of yourself, right here. When you're lifting up, you're lifting sort of like back there. That's why it's so hard for you and you're in this uncomfortable banana position. So keep your tailbone tight. See, it's all straight, it's not arching or curving too much and only legs moving. 
straight up. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. Okay, let's do one more. Listen, give me some um, leg movement there. Give me some splits, change it, give me some beauty there. Take your time, Martin, no rush. First, get your both legs off the floor. Squeeze your legs together, reach up. Nice, Alison. Good, that's a good try, Martin. You in control of your legs. Imagine like you're standing in the floor. You're upside down, but you're standing in the floor. Good, Ali, that's nice, good control. Beautiful. Point your toes, Martin. It will help you, I promise you. Oui, you okay? Yes, I'm All right, Alison, come down, that's good. Okay, let's move to the elbows. Let's give a rest to our head. So we always can start uh, with the dolphin. That's okay, right guys? So we kind of like go step by step and then we move to um, handstand. Yeah, let's do the elbows first. You okay with that? Okay. So we start with the dolphin. We kind of stretch it out, chin on the mat and extend your arms forward. You kind of open your chest. Very vulnerable pose, but relax to it. Really melt your chest towards the floor. Make your arms nice and straight. Two breaths here. Good, now lift it up. Now, just take a second and take a look at me. So we have elbows up here. This one, you always can arch you back a little bit if you do the split straight legs is a bit harder i feel like head stance is easier straight legs than elbows so same thing you lift in your pike you have your shoulders on top of your elbows and you lift one leg at a time and you can look slightly forward and you can lift to a split or half split or whatever you have see my back is arched a little bit hold straight it's pretty hard unless you have like lots of practice, but it's definitely harder. This is much easier. You can switch the legs. So shift your weight on your elbows slightly, arch your back, look forward, but have this control in your arms and slowly, slowly lift up. They give me like position where you can be and like open your legs, Keep your hips square though. Open your legs on a half split or full split. Keep your hips square, Alison, good. More square. Think of a standing split. Work your toes that in the floor closer to your face. So walk your toes closer to your face. So too easier to come up. When the legs are far away, it's hard to kick, right? I can't get on it. Try to walk your feet closer to your face. So your butt is already directly over your shoulders. So walk closer, as closer as you can. No kicking, take your time. Walk closer, lift the leg up and start to feel the counterbalance. I can't bend that much. <laughs> you mean forward? Ah, here we go, the Pashamottanasana. That I can do. We need to stretch, we need to stretch, definitely. Okay, give me a good pike, walk your feet closer. Hold on, don't jump, just walk your feet closer and stay in that pike and then lift one leg up. Push the shoulders here, lift up. I don't want you guys to kick, I want you to really transfer. Good, Martin, good. Yeah, I know it's hard, but you need to find that counterbalance that will slowly tip you over. Good, okay guys, what we liking? Maybe flexibility in here, but once again, if you really walk your feet closer and push your shoulders away instead of sinking in your shoulders, see how I'm pushing? I'm pushing like in downward dog, I'm pushing my armpits towards my toes. I'm not sinking in here, I'm lifting up here. I try to lift myself as high as I can, then I lift my one leg up, and I slowly transfer the weight. 
slowly transfer the weight with the feeling. So give yourself that work, give yourself that time, really walk close, your feet to your face, push your chest, push your armpits towards your toes, walk closer, walk closer, make sure your shoulders is on top of your elbows, your butt is on top of your shoulders. Go, 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 Ali. Come on, come on, walk your feet closer. Good, good, good. Slowly lift up. As she see, she's still kicking, little booger. <laughs> He's still kicking. That's what happened with the handstands. You guys kicking, you, you uh, passing that, how you say it? Like you skipping that step. That's why it's no feeling. You just kick, oh, let's see what happens, which is okay too. But on the elbows, you're much more safer than on the handstand. You're so much closer to the floor. There's no way to, you fall somewhere. You always can fall back. So that's a really good practice for you to really find that feeling of transfer in that shoulders. Make sense? So let's do one more and I leave you alone with this one. <laughs> really take your time. Don't kick. Walk your toes as hard as you can. Press your armpits towards your toes and one leg at a time, lift up and try to just imagine somebody pulling you over. Don't lose your chest, don't lose your chest, Martin. You did good, you push your chest and then you start to kick and you fall. I know it's hard. You're finding it, Ali, good, 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 good. Toes, more, 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 press. <laughs> it's hard. No, I don't. Okay, so that's your practice, that's the thing. What's wrong with it, Martin? I feel it here, it's like so. Like it's stretching my well, like wrist here, kind of. Oh, okay, you must be tight on your forearm. Really? Is it so? In both of them. Huh. Yeah, I don't feel anything. Alison, do you feel anything? No. No, oh, that's interesting. Martin, you always give me something that I know. <laughs> I need to like research it and think about why is he tight over here? Exactly. Here, I don't know why. It's maybe just your hands position. Are you having like that or more like this? No, more like that. I mean, open. Yeah, that's harder. Yeah. That's how, if you maybe work your hands a little bit towards each other, that's a little bit easier. This way, yeah, you will feel the tightness in here. I, yeah, my hands were like this. Okay, yeah. A little bit easier. So, yeah, guys, that's another little thing that to catch it, to find it. It's take patience and practice. Same. You guys are really good at crow. Today, look, today is like we did it three, four times. Final crow was pretty perfect. So that's good. That's another one. So from the dolphin to kick to our um, elbow stand. So what's next? Compass. Compass. Let's practice compass. Okay, let's practice compass. Well, let's warm up and find our warrior two, of course, first. Let me take my socks off. Make sure you have a no sliding feet. So let's find our perfect warrior two, both heels in one line. We stay deep in our thigh, no matter which leg you find. So power up your arms, find your good warrior two. Inhale, arms up. I know you don't see me, but you know what I'm doing. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Reach down, so you see my knuckles between my legs. And then now humble your warrior. Work your chest closer to your leg and drop your knuckles back. Work your head in front of your front foot. Bow to it. Relax your knuckles. Now, if your shoulder passing your knee, release your arms and work your shoulder under your knee. You can lower your back knee down and this arm, I don't know which arm you are, reaching up and over, get a hold of the outside arch of your foot, power up your arm that is in the floor, push the floor away like you're doing the plank and try to kick your heel past your head. Open your chest. Flex your foot, Alison, if you need to. Now open your shoulder, look up, lift your elbow up. Nice. Good, Martin, walk your chest higher. Open your chest, try to bring that arm behind you. Good, okay, release. Take a breath, you can sit back. So the goal is, you already have the knee on the floor, the goal is to at least get a hold of it and 
open the chest. Even if the leg is tight, there is a shoulder flexibility involved and chest flexibility. It's like a lot of things involved. But try to push little by little by extending this leg. The more you extend the leg, the more length you have. If it's here, it's hard to, you know, you can go anywhere. This leg is bent. If you extend this leg, your arm is extended. And all you do, bloop, open your chest towards that length, yeah? So long leg, long arm. Then all you need to do is just push your chest forward and look up. Let's try again. Find your warrior. Just gonna watch you guys closer. Warrior two. Now find extended side angle. Plant your hand in front of your foot. Bring your arm up and over. Nice. Sink deeper in your thigh. Good. Now bend your standing uh, hand and go your shoulder under your knee. Now you can bend your back knee to support yourself unless you want to have extended. That's good, Alison. Go for it. Now grab your foot, Martin. Extend your leg forward. Take your time. Slow. Extend your leg even more. Good try, Alison. Why not? Yeah, good job. Press your hips forward more, Martin. That's good. Okay, so when we're here, yeah, we're here now, Martin. Now try to press your hips forward. So your shoulder is on top of your palm, and your goal is now to just be at least here. You can use your shoulder st uh, stretch if your leg is not extended as much, or is opposite, it's like you have to compensate here or there, you know? It's like depends what, what's tighter more, the leg or the shoulder. So try to compensate and open your chest as much as you can. Alison, that was a good try, but it's okay to keep trying with the knee down. But if you feel like you can do it with the straight, just make sure you have a good support with the shoulder on top of the palm. So if you're here, you're falling. If you're over, you're falling. So make sure this is in line so that's your main support shoulder and the wrist yeah okay let's go again we're gonna do one more time here and then we're gonna take other side sink your hips lower martin good allison go get that good grip outside arch of your foot on the opposite uh-huh Push, chest forward, lift that leg up. Control, control, control. Good, 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 good. Better than we have last week. Good. So you start to feeling, right? You start to feel what you need to extend and what you need to work on. It's just practice again. Let's switch the sides, other leg. So let's warm up first, inhale, arms up. Interlace your fingers behind your back, show the knuckles. Arch and exhale, humble your warrior. Work your chest down. Stay deep in that thigh. Stay deep in that bent leg. Drop your knuckles behind your head. Bow your head towards the floor. If your head touching the floor, great. Let's transition to our flying compass. Work your shoulder under your knee. You can relax your knee down for the first one. Reach your arm towards your foot, grab the outside arch, kick that heel forward and up, forward and up, hips forward, chest up, lift. Other side can be more awkward. Rotate your chest open as hard as you can and lift. Breathe through it, guys. You get that good grip outside arch. Take your time, Alison, good. Don't let your shoulder fall. See, the other side is awkward, isn't it? <laughs> Why are we so crooked? I don't know. <laughs> Same with me. Even if it's my right arm and a strong arm that I'm supposed to hold better. I'm so awkward with my right leg as well. I don't know why, but it's just that's how it is. So yeah, let's keep practicing. Let's find the extended side angle. Find this perfect line. Take a breath here. Lower your knee down, work your shoulder under, and 
try to get a hold of the outside arch and lift. Try right now, press your hips forward and open your chest even more. Rotate your chest open. Okay, Alison, I see what you have tightness on this side because I see you can't even go past under your arm. Yeah, well, I, I want, yeah it's like it's too short, my arm. <laughs> It's right, but you kind of have the same length of your arms, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, try to push your chest more forward because your leg is already straight, your arm is already straight, but you behind it, try to squeeze yourself through it first and then maybe extend your leg. Same, Martin, for you. Before you extend your leg fully, try to push your chest a little bit forward and then extend your leg. Maybe let's keep that both knees bent, the knee on the ground and that knee, and then Push forward and extend. Let's try that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, thank you. So I can see you better. <laughs> thank you, Martin. Oh, I like this strappy carpet. Find a good warrior too, then find your extended side angle. Beautiful. Lower down and reach for the outside arch of your foot. Keep your knees slightly bent and work your chest through that. Like, ah, it's okay, buddy. <laughs> That's it, you take your time. I fall so many times in the yoga class, it was very embarrassing because I thought I totally got it. And then my arrogance just put me in the floor. <laughs> okay, watch Martin. Slowly bend the leg, Martin. Yes, good, that's a good idea. Your arm is not really supporting you. Your elbow is past your wrist. Okay, 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 push forward, push forward. Push forward, push forward. Yes, yes, good. Good job. Bravo. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Apparently this leg got better. I did everything for me. <laughs> you did it, you did it. So guys, patience, don't try to get in a position. Do your step by step. First, make sure your shoulder past your knee. Then supporting hand is very supportive. Even that, like Martin, you were here, but you manage. You manage from this position to push forward. So that's your beginning stage. Make sure shoulder is on top of your wrist always. Otherwise, you, you'll be falling. Just make sure you're here. Then eventually you will straighten that leg and lift up. Always open your chest and come out of it is important too. You're not just dropping, you have to really release, stay strong and then be back to our warrior too. Let's do one more on the side and we're done with it. <laughs> one more, one more, Ali, you got it, come on. <laughs> take your time. Maybe it's gonna take a little longer, but take your time. Take your time, nice side angle, good. Now work your shoulder under your knee. Find your outside arch. Make sure that I'm prepared to support you. Push that chest forward, breathe, don't rush. Control, press that hips forward, nice, nice. Press hips forward, Ali, good. Hips forward, hips forward, more, more, more. Nice, good job. Good, good guys. Maybe it feels awkward in this side. Yeah, <laughs> good finishing position. But you both did better somehow. Your form is better on this side. See the awkward side sometimes is, works. So good job. It's pretty good. If you will watch this recording, you'll see yourself from uh, outside. Tell me, what are you saying? Alison, you were saying something, no? No, okay. Okay, good. So here is our flying compass. Practice it. Always give a try. If you're late, I mean, I always give a little like time and a flying compass and we do this or we do birds of paradise. Are we interested to try birds of paradise? How do or you do birds of paradise? Okay. So what we start to practicing before, I see Martin, you were trying. So when we're in a warrior two and we have an extended side angle, then I say bind a full bind. So make sure you have this grip. 
this arm doesn't have to be straight when you go to birds. Of course, you're stretching out, then you can bend slightly, but make sure you have that grip. Then your foot step forward, then you transfer the weight and you're staying in this position. Then you need to find this balance. We actually can achieve at least this. Oof, oof. Then you slowly need to lift up. But at least we can at least get here. Let's try at least to get right here, standing and holding. So let's find our warrior two. Which leg you go in front, right or left? Right. Okay, right leg forward. Warrior two in the right leg. Find warrior two. Find extended side angle. Now work your shoulder as you did for flying compass under your thigh and try to get with your right hand a hold of your left wrist. Open your chest first. Okay, now shift your weight forward in the right foot and bring your left leg closer to your right. Good. Keep the grip. Now establish your weight on your left leg and slowly try to lift up. Find your balance here, keep your grip. If you can stand up all the way, that's good. Get your standing leg straight and then extend your right leg up. Extend your right leg up. Control, no panic. Slowly come down, keep the grip the whole time. Keep the grip. Now step your left leg back. Find your extended side angle and come back to your warrior two. Good job, oh my gosh, you got it, see? Difficult. Okay. Easy? It's fine. Good, yeah. let's do other side, bravo. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Left side, warrior two. Find a good stand. It's gonna feel different. Don't freak out, just keep doing it. Find your extended side angle. Now work your left shoulder under your left knee. Bring the left arm under, try to get a hold of your right. Look up. Beautiful. Now step your right foot, meet the left or closer. Keep the grip the whole time. Shift your weight on your right leg and try to pick your chest up with the leg. Take your time. Try to get standing. Take your time, guys. I tell you, don't rush. Take your time. Nice and slow. Try to get your standing leg straight, stabilized. Then extend your left leg up. Take your time. Okay, flying down slowly. Plant your left foot. Keep the feet the whole time. Find your warrior two. I mean, extend the side angle first. Back to win warrior two. Ooh, I'm like looking back and talking and breathing. Whew. Good. How's it feel, funky? Uh, this side was, with me, this side was more crooked, like my <laughs> hips were not in line and yeah. It's absolutely fine. My, my other side is bad too. I can't extend my standing leg straight, especially after hip surgery is disaster. Hi. But practice make it better. Okay. So let's do one more time each side and I will watch you. So give me the warrior two, extended, full bind, step, take your time, no rush. First right leg. Okay, together, warrior two. Inhale, exhale, extended side angle. Take a breath. Slowly make your way to your full bind. Take your time, take your time, no rush. Last step, no points taken off. <laughs> slowly, slowly. Lift your chest, get your standing leg straight. And when you're ready, extend your leg up. Good. Get your standing leg straight, both of you. 
Yes, that's where we start. Okay, and make your way down. Keep the bind the full time, then find your extended side angle. Squeeze your heels towards each other, warrior two. Nice, good job, guys, good job. Other side. Take more time, I wanna see control. I don't wanna see jumping. Not jumping, take your time. Be sure what you're doing, you are in control. Take a left side. Take a breath. Do with the breath, everything with the breath. Beautiful. Take your time, no rush. Last step is good, in control. Good, slowly, slowly. First, get you standing like straight and lift your chest up. In control, good, good, chest up. As you bind and slowly extend your leg up when you're ready. Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Control, balance, good, good, good. Feel your body. Nice, nice. It's okay, yeah, if you're not ready to extend, it's absolutely fine. Good, good job, Martin. Alison, find your warrior too. Beautiful, good work, good work, guys. Awesome job, awesome. So eventually we will move into bowing. So when you're here, Oh, let me go do a good leg. <laughs> so when we're here, when you establish get your standing leg straight, I'll probably turn this way, and extend that straight, then eventually you will straight leg, you will achieve bow, up, and then down. So that's a good practice. Good job, guys. I love it. I love it that we touch. Birds of Paradise today, so that's new. Please try it, please try it in the class. I'll give you time. You're already doing it, so that's good. Compass with the knee down, Birds of Paradise. When we do Prazarita, when I say extensions go up, you have your headstand and you have your elbow stand. Alison, you got handstand. Do your handstand because you got it. Even if you need to go up and hold, if you just want to stay here, that's fine. Make your way up, make your way down. Martin, headstand always, elbow stand, whatever you want, but you guys hire practitioners already. So put yourself in the yoga class and do it because you're good. You're good, you're really good, okay? So three things we did now, handstand. <laughs> we don't have much time, but we're gonna do it anyway. So let's kick all the fears out. And we're gonna do this. <laughs> so you're gonna find something like a bed or couch. You're gonna plant your hands in front of you. You're gonna find the couch. You're gonna lift pipe like you lift in the elbow stand, right? But it's easier because your feet are higher. So it's easier to achieve your butt up. So you can walk your hands closer to the couch. See, it's easier. Even if you don't have flexibility, we'll be here, but you'll be able to push your hips on top of your shoulders. And I want you to lift only one leg up and down. Only one leg up and down. No wall behind you, but I'm not asking you to go in a handstand all the way. I'm asking you, bring the leg up and down, up and down. So can we do that? Let's try. You got it, you got it, no fears. There is the couch, perfect. Martin needs to do renovations, he needs to move things around, I love it. I'm sorry. Yeah, Alison, that's good, whatever is next to you. Yeah, it's my couch. Yeah, perfect. Okay, the goal is bring the hips on top of your shoulders, establish that straight position and lift one leg up, straight line. Really get that leg straight, straight leg. It's okay, Martin, that's good, that's good. Nice. And lower down, another leg. 
And um, okay, okay, Alison, come down for a second. Martin, can you go in that gap between couch and the wall where the cables are? Yeah. Because I think that will lift your legs higher and you will be closer to the wall. Put the feet in there, shoulder rest, and back to the wall, if you're gonna be back to the wall. Oh, which way? Uh, turn around, turn around, opposite, opposite, uh, more, yes. And lower, the, <laughs> back to the wall, bring you back to the wall and put your feet on the shoulder rest of the couch. How? And that gap between wall and the couch, that's what I wanna be. Yeah, but turn around. Oh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Kick oh, the yeah. cables if you can away and plant your hands over there. Opposite, oh. opposite, I want you in that gap between couch and wall. I'll just go somewhere else. Okay, well, you, can, you can use that and come closer to the wall. I just want you to be closer to the wall then because I really want you to not worry about it. Yes. Okay. Okay, bring that things uh, closer to you. Yeah, closer to you. So you can lift your cushion, cushion closer to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we need a wall. Uh, Ali, you don't need wall. I want you now to switch the legs because you got the handstand, but keep that straight line. Switch the legs. Okay, Martin, work your hands closer to the wall a little bit. Yes, now lift that leg up. Try to get in the handstand. Can you lift your hips higher? Good, Alison, control, more control. Yeah, it's um, the flexibility is the problem. I thought that I thought I thought if I will bring your legs higher, it will be easier for you guys to kick. But for some reason, it's still hard for you. I need to stretch you more. I need to stretch you more. <laughs> yeah, it's um, hips and um, forward fall. It doesn't let you to kick all the way up. She have that flexibility. Naturally, she did gymnastics before. Like for you, is a bit harder. Mm, yeah, skip that. It's not gonna work today. I mean, Ali, you got it, but it's um, too easy for you. And Martin, I need to stretch you more for sure. Well, let's do chest to the wall then. You did a lot of good yoga work today. Let's do chest to the wall and give me a good position. Let's first, first set, we do chest to the wall. Second set, we're gonna do transfer right and left. And third set, we're gonna hold for one minute. I know you're already a bit tired, but give me three good sets. You only have three sets, guys. So give me straight to the wall chest. Give me a good line. Let's at least hold. I would love to see you from the side, Ali, if possible. Only if possible. At least slightly side. You don't need to be super sideways, but yes, good. Perfect, yes, awesome. All right, walk chest to the wall. Legs together, give me nice straight position. Good. Alison, a little bit, okay, good. You can tuck your toes, Alison, and balance, so barely use the wall. Martin, push the floor away from you as hard as you can. Tuck toes under, barely use the wall. Use your line, yes. Tuck toes under and only your toes touching the wall. Where are you going, are you tired? <laughs> No, my, my arm starts kind of doing the thing that it's not supposed to. Okay. Yeah, you can yeah, arm and then sometimes it just tries to kind of put me down. Okay, so I saw you today doing a white tea ice. Yeah. I feel like you're pretty flexible in your shoulders. So like when you do that, my even doesn't go up as high as yours. Yeah. Uh, I would like you to really control this when you do Y. The eyes, don't try to throw them up. Try to really go in control up, in control. I feel like you're flex flexible and your shoulders and you often just throw it. So now it starts to come out. You're more confident, you go chest to the wall and it's little bit wobbly wobbly. So when you go walk towards the wall, shoulders never leave the ears. So if the shoulders in this position, they shouldn't go anywhere. So keep that form, okay? Do you have pain? No, I don't. Okay. 
Just no, use your not. pain. Please avoid any that if it's sharp pain. I don't want to hurt you or anything. Yeah. So walking, let's do one more time. Walking to the wall, shoulders not leaving the ears. You only can do this, but you're not leaving the ears. It always stays here. I still can move, see? I still can walk in my hands, but it's not leaving my ears. Attach, glue to your ears. Find the position, go ahead. Push the floor away, shoulders to the ears, nice. Shoulders not leaving the ears, squeeze, 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 push, push, push. Only toes touching the wall, chest of the wall. Push your hips forward, Allison, towards the wall, a little bit. Towards the wall, hips towards the wall. Beautiful, lift up, lift up, lift up. Don't sing in the shoulders, Martin. Push, 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 all the power, push, push. Come out, good, both of you come out, good. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Bend in the hips. Okay, good. So always remember for shoulders to stay in place, attach them, attach them. Don't let them go anywhere. You still can move. You still can walk towards the anything. See, I still can walk. I'm not sinking. This is hard. I'm attached and I'm walking. I can do anything, but I still in control. I still having shoulders next to my ears. It never goes anywhere. I'm not thinking to change and then lift. I'm always here. Can you see, yeah? Can you see the difference? Always glue them to it. All right, now bring the computer or camera so I can see you from the back. And as long as I can see your whole body, that'll be great. Get your good position and a handstand, open your legs, slightly V. Strong legs, very strong legs, like a strings and guitar. Reach up forward, little transfer, right and left, and then down, okay? Shoulders to the ears. I don't wanna see a gap. I don't wanna see any gap between shoulder and the ear. Beautiful, push, push, push. Find the perfect V with your legs. Push hard and then slowly transfer when you're ready. Right and left. Good, Ali. Good, Martin. Grow tall, guys. Grow tall. Strong legs, strings. Nice. Martin, give me more. Give me more. Strong, strong, strong. Good. Come out when you're ready. Strong. Bend in your hips, Martin, when you come out. Bend in your hips. Good dismount, Ali. Good job. Good. Good. It's hard. It's hard. It's it's longer than Birds of Paradise for sure. <laughs> it's not that paradisey. But good. Martin, I still want to close the gap between your ears and your shoulders. You you pushing, I know you're pushing hard, but I still see big gap. I really want you to. Especially when you make it to the wall, I really want you to do that. That's what Wayne is doing with you on the floor. When you're laying down, that's what he do. This chest thing, <laughs> everything in. Chest in, rib cage in, back's flat. That's what he's doing with you on the floor. So think of that exercise when you're next to the wall and push that floor away. Close this gap as hard as you can because you have that flexibility. It's, it's just hard. You work super hard over here. And when you're upside down, I know you think about a lot of things, close that gap. Let's do one more. The same thing that we just done. Yes, with the transfer. I know I promised you three, but never like that with me. I'm a liar. <laughs> I'm a good liar. I want you to guys get it. <laughs> Close that gap, close that gap. Alison, good, no gap, I don't see gap. Get your V, nice, get your V, transfer. Martin, push up even more, push, push, push. Yes, right here, that's it. Don't lose it, transfer with that. Take your time, give a second and then transfer. Stay there, push, 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 push. Root through your hand. Gap, I see the gap, Martin, push, push, push. <laughs> Good, come out. Take your time, take your time, take your time. Strong, strong, strong. Awesome. 
Good work. Good work. You feel that push? You feel how hard you work? You probably couldn't even breathe when you did that, yeah? You know, I, I'm just afraid that, you know, it will just go this way and I just fall because it ha happened to me once when I was holding it for a minute that suddenly it just like switched my, my arm off and I just fell down. Do you feel numbness when you're holding like that? Do you feel like your muscles get, you know, like abs get tight and then it's kind of numb? Do you well, feel no, I feel, but I feel that I need to watch out where my, my shoulder goes, which position. Mm -hmm. hmm. This certain position then... I feel like I'm just going to fall down from it. That's strange to me. That's strange to me. Mm. If you're so locked, you shouldn't be. Like, unless you release it, then yeah, like the shoulder can go out. But if you, as long as you squeeze both sides, it shouldn't be happening. If you just like relax to it, then yeah. Like I get careless and sometimes I just like relax to it and then I'm not expecting my shoulder can fall out. But, um, well, let's talk, I'll talk more to you about it, but let's do one minute handstand. This time I'm going to time it properly and give your arms a big shake. Prepare yourself for like a good one minute hold. So we really I'm can. Still hold. Yeah. Say it again. I was asking you if it, uh, yeah, against the wall, eh? Yeah, against the wall, but on the <laughs> toes. For you, only toes, because you got okay. Yeah, with my belly to the wall. Yeah, yeah. Just slightly touching. I'll give. You, what is the timer? Okay, I got the timer. I'm gonna set one minute. Okay, prepare yourself when you're ready. And it's gonna start in one. Start in two, start in three, and go. Push as hard as you can. Push the floor away from you and breathe through it. Try to relax your palms. Make sure middle of the palm is on the floor. Curve your fingers, press that middle of the palm on the floor. Push your shoulders up. No gap between the ears and your shoulder. Push. Toes up to the ceiling. Lift up. Stay strong. Halfway down. 30 seconds more. You can squeeze your legs together, Martin. Squeeze your booty. It will help you. Squeeze your booty. Grow tall. Grow tall. Push the floor away from you. Breathe, guys. Breathe through your nose. Breathe. Inhale and exhale. You're almost there. Less than 15 seconds, stay. 10 seconds, hold, push, 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 you get it. Five, four, three, two, one, down. Good job, good job. That was a hard one, good job. <sighs> Guys, one minute every day will help you so much, I promise you. Not just one once a week. If you push yourself to do one minute every day, you got it. All right, let's stretch. Get our split to the side, toes up. Have your hands in front of you, or you can uh, fingers fingers towards you. Let's stretch our palms. Yeah, fingers towards you, toes up. Inhale, lift your head up. Exhale, drop your head down. Relax. Give a little shake, side to side, head relaxed. Roll your head to the right. Inhale and exhale down. Inhale, other side left. Up and down. Move with your breath. Let's do one more each side. Inhale up. And exhale down. Nice, relax for a second. And release your hands, shake it off. Push your hips more forward as much as you can towards the split. And reach to the side. I know you already done that. So with good press, your chest forward. Avoid sinking back. Get rid of this movement. 
open your chest use this arm even if you not go as deep yes beautiful martin look at you i love it yes chest open chest open. feel the stretch in the side make sure you both hips on the mat okay change if you stay up it's okay as long as you open chest up more chest up lift up lift up twist slide down as much as you can Good, release, legs together, forward fold. Very some our hips, chest forward, chest forward. Try to get rid of rounding spine. Chest forward, stretch from your hips, push, lengthen in your back and pull. Crown of the head, reach into the toes. If you can uh, pull on your toes and lift your heels off the mat, that's good too. You're gonna get extra stretch in the hamstrings. Pull. Pull, 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 pull. Breathe. Good. Release. Fingers towards your back. Point your toes. Reverse plank. Stretch your bicep. Drop your head back if you need to. If it feels good. good. Release down. Extend your arms forward. Lay down on the floor. Right leg up. Get a hold of behind you. Knee, calf, Achilles. Get your leg nice and straight. Flex your toes. If you can get a hold of your toes, that's great. If it's available to you. Laying leg is uh, active. Keep it flexed and pull your right leg towards your face. Nice and easy. Pull. Pull. Use your arm strength and pull. Pull firmly. Use your breath. Try to relax to the top. Pull. Pull, 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 pull. Work harder. Pull. Pull, pull, pull more. I know it's uncomfortable, doesn't feel good behind your knee and your hamstrings. Feels like it's gonna snap, but pull. Breathe. You're warm now. Nice. Release. Bend your knee. Bend your right knee, threading the needle. Right hand through the space. Get a hold of the left knee. Flex your right foot as much as you can. Pull your knee towards your chest. Feel the stretch in the right foot. Pull, pull. Shoulders down to the mat. Reach your tailbone towards the floor. Imagine your entire spine is in the mat. Pull. Nice. Release. Keep your heel on top of the knee and drop your right foot to the floor. Keep your right shoulder on the mat. Push your knee away from you. Keep that right knee lifted. Push. Nice. And bring it back to the center. Relax your legs down, left leg up. Behind the hamstring, knee, calf. Achille, or get a hold of your toes. Keep your hips square as much as you can. Use your breath and accept this uncomfortable feeling. Just deal with it for a little bit. Remember, it's temporary. Your body getting used to it. Each time you'll do that, every day should get a little better. Some days we'll step back. Some days it will step two, step forward. Just breathe through it, pull. Three more breaths, pull, 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 straight leg, pull. Try to get your knee nice and straight. Maybe pull your toes and press your knee back. Pull your toes and press your knee back, pull. Two more breaths. One more. Nice. Release, bend your right knee, relax your left heel on top of the right knee and thread your left hand through the space you created. Get a hold of the right knee. Please, please flex your left foot, protect your knee and slightly start to pull your knee towards your chest. Tuck your chin in, back of the neck flat on the mat. With every exhale, pull your knee firmly towards your chest. Try to reach your tailbone towards the floor even more. Shoulders down on the mat. 
Feel the stretch in your left hip. One more breath. Nice. Keep your left heel on top of the right knee and lower down. Feel the stretch on the left side. Try to push your knee away from you. Keep your left shoulder on the mat. Your gaze is to the left. One more breath. And bring your knee up. Relax your left foot down. Bring your heels closer to your buttocks. Get a hold of your ankles. Keep your feet flat on the mat. And inhale, lift your hips up. Make sure your knees in line with your toes. Ali, squeeze your knees towards each other a little bit. Yes, right here. Lift up. And lower down. One more. Keep your knees in line with your toes. Inhale. Exhale, hips up. Squeeze imaginary block between your thighs. Squeeze. Lift, lift, lift. Lower down. Going for the full wheel. Plant your hands by your ears. Squeeze your elbows towards each other. One, two, three. Lift up. And press your chest on top of your palms. Shoulders on top of your palms. Press your chest forward more. Chest forward, chest forward, more and more. Push, push, push. Right leg up. Breathe, guys. Breathe. Lower down. Left leg up. Breathe. Press your chest more forward. Even more. Lower down. Both tippy toes. Lift up. Heels up. Lift, lift, lift. Hips up. Even more. Chest forward, chest forward, chest forward. Slowly lower down. Drop your knees side to side. And bring your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a big hug. Big laugh. You did it. Feet together, knees together. Now curl your head towards your knees. And relax it down. And roll yourself up. Change the grip two, three times. And then up and cross legged seated position. Good work. All right, let's talk. How are we feeling? I feel like it's been super challenging today.